Hey guys, welcome back to Seat Story Cup number three. We are now in the second half of the round of eight. We already had uh, a couple players advance. Orange, unfortunately, yeah. taking out Lothar. Tough match there, Lothar. I but know. I was there. <laughs> we get you on the couch more now. Well, I can be. Yeah. So we'll get see you to commentate a bit more, so that's nice. Of course, Gara is going to join us here as well. Just a fantastic... I, You know, I hope you bomb out at every tournament in the future so we can get you casting more. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. Don't Maybe you should do the... I know, I will, I will be dropping the beat and you'll be yeah. rapping. Yeah. He was... Garo was actually rapping right before we went live. It was actually pretty sick, but it was in a language I don't know, so I don't know what he said. Uh, but before we start this next match, I got to do uh, show you guys a little something that you need to try out on the internets. So let's go ahead and take a look at this monitor. Go to Facebook.com. This is like a social media website. I don't know if you've heard of it before, but Take has a page there, so you probably want to get on this before you know it's overcrowded. Uh, so go to facebook.com forward slash take TV and check this out. Uh, obviously a lot of great news and stuff. Look at these handsome men right there with some beautiful hats on. Oh my God, it's a man in a chicken suit. There's, when does madness stop? Go up here, click on Seat Story Cup 3 raffle. And of course, Seat Story Cup sponsored by Need for Seat. Fantastic chairs. Gary, do you have I one mean, of those chairs? I love those chairs. Yeah? Yeah, of course I have one. Yeah. It's like, as soon as I tried it, I had to get one. It's that good. Do you have one, Lothar? I'd rather not answer. <laughs> my, <laughs> my poor friend. <laughs> well, well, anyways, <laughs> go to this site, and uh, all you have to do is fill out this little registration, hit enter, and you can win some of this awesome stuff here. So go ahead, do it. We want as many people entering as possible. Uh, but the thing about these is that normally not really that many people enter. So your chances are actually very good if you go yeah, enter. How win. come? Oh, how come people, people are like incredibly, incredibly lazy? No way. It I takes swear like to five God, seconds. it's true. People are lazy. That's just the way that people are. They aren't really motivated to do things. So uh, what about I if that would work with uh, you know raffle? Type, type, you type in chat raffle. Oh, they'll do that for days. Yeah, it's like... That's literally the only thing that they will do if there's a raffle in the Twitch chat. Yeah. yeah. But uh, definitely go and uh, check that out, guys, and maybe you can win some awesome stuff. Uh, should I check if I have the players? Yeah, you should check that for sure. Uh, I'm spectating... Uh, this one should be Ignite. So Ignite. There you go. Okay, I, I got that. Okay. Speaking of which, we do have uh, our next match here. It's going to be Ignite versus Oskaka. Yep. And I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about this because uh, I've heard a lot of good talk about both these players, especially Oskaka. In the last few days, everyone's been saying that this guy is ridiculously good. Here we see Ignite. Uh, he is through the open qualifiers all the way up to this point. And who was it I was talking to yesterday? It might have been either Zelay or Firebat that said Ignite just isn't making any small mistakes. Like, he's just playing really solid yep. Hearthstone this weekend. Would you agree, Gara? Yeah, the first time I played against Ignite was at um, the first Prismata Cup. Mm -hmm. It's actually, like, I won that one, but I played against Ignite. It was such a close series. He played, like, Handlock and, and stuff like that, and he played it perfectly. Yeah. And it was, like, half a year ago. And since then, he, I'm pretty sure he improved even more. Like, I don't see him misplaying. He's very unlucky, I think. In the, the same with Oskar, like a top yeah. player. I've seen him at every dream hack. Just, he was unlucky, dropped out, so people didn't, like, see him, like, in finals and semifinals. But both players are on the same level as most of the other best players, I'm mm. pretty sure. And what about Oskaka? Uh Luther, I've well, heard a lot of people saying that they just really praise how good he is. Uh, I don't, I don't know if them if they're praising them uh, him, but uh, I know him from a long time ago mm -hmm. when he uh, was th he's still at Root, right? Root Gaming. Yes, yes. Thing? Yeah, and that was like when I started playing for Plant Key Dynamics. He was then recruited by the Root Gaming, mm -hmm. so that was uh, like one year ago. Uh, we played a lot on ladder together, and we met in tournaments like Zotax, Gosu Gamers Cups, and other stuff like really frequently. Mm. Uh, it was always a close match for both sides. So he's a really good player. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Well, one of these guys is going to be going on to the round of four. Uh, I have their their classes here, so let's go over that and talk about that a little bit and see what you guys think. Ignite is bringing Paladin, Priest, Mage, Warrior, Hunter. And Oskaka is bringing Rogue, Mage, Druid, Hunter, Warrior. I have the ban 
Uh, Ignite can't use Warrior, but I didn't get to see yet what Oskaka can't use. Okay. I bet it will be also Warrior. You think so? It just shows that, yeah. It should be. Yeah. Both okay, warrior. they did both ban Warrior. Wow, good call there. Yeah, it just shows that both players play ma uh, Freeze, Freeze Mage. Freeze Mage, yeah. That's true. So it's okay. pretty obvious. And then. also when you play Hunter, you want to ban the hand Warrior too, so yeah. you, you, know, you get two bad matchups away. Yeah, he played away. also the priest, right? Like uh, uh, the priest. I don't know the priest. Like if you, yeah, usually a lot of people think that warrior is favorite against priest. They do. I think yeah, the priest yeah, is yeah. No, you just warrior. don't play anything. Like even I lost to warrior, and mm. and and uh, Amas warrior wasn't even tagged with like a lot of late game. It's yeah. just because uh, if you don't play anything and you just play your weapons and kill stuff, priest has a lot of combo cards. You just yeah. wait till your Alexstrasza and then you combo him down because uh, the priest only plays two taunts, the two sludge burgers. But your draw just sucked. Yeah, I know. But in, in general, like I know a lot of people like Shio and mm. Kid Cuts, they think that uh, priest is actually a pretty easy matchup, which I was first very surprised. At. When you have Gorhol, it it is maybe. Yeah. Like with Gorhol, you have yeah, yeah, basically yeah. six four. Gorhol beats right? like every yeah. control deck. Yeah. Except I'm, Pally. I'm, I'm just saying, like the warrior, like they build their lineups to ban warrior. They have the freeze mage, they have mm. the hunter, they have the priest. Mm -hmm. I oh. do agree. Well, I think it comes down so much to thought steal in that matchup as yeah. well. If you get yeah. like good thought steals, like two you slams. just win. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's the best. Because then you steal their armor smith with the cabal. <laughs> but they were they showing the animations for. for of the players. Yes. <laughs> Yours was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if they even used that. Uh, the first day it was broken, but since then they've had it. Uh, okay, so. Let's take a look here. It looks like uh, Ignite. No, okay, no, no, Ignite is starting uh, Hunter. Oh, yeah, you mean that, yeah. And then we're going to have Mage, Freeze Mage, over on Oskaka's side. Well, you got really bad two starting cards uh, for Skeka here. So Alex Stras and Pyroblast in the opening hand are not something you want to get. But, um, <laughs> well, Ignite's draw is not good at all, too. Like, Unleash the Hounds is most likely dead mm. in this matchup. Um, Mad Scientist, so it's, a, it's an okay drop, but still, it's only two points of damage. Yeah. And Haunted Creeper, you basically want to drop the Hunted Creeper for the kill command, which you already have in hand, or at the moment when Blizzard or Flame Strike yeah. can be played, so you have something that will, you know, play around the AoE effect. What I find the most interesting in this matchup, I talk to a lot of people, like, um, to ask them who, uh, who they think is favorite in this matchup. And this yeah. is very interesting. Like, I personally like to be the face hunter in this matchup because I think that face hunter is favorite. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, like, heavily disagree. They say the freeze I'm match is I'm on your side. A lot of side here. Like, um, hyped and like, force and all the good freeze match players. Yeah. They say that the freeze match is heavily favorite in this matchup. Uh, I think it's bias. Every time you play a class, that's the one of your favorite, right? Yeah. Then you have the bias. You're biased towards it, right? Then yeah. you, you you tend to see the only the the games yeah. you win. Well, when you specialize in the more complicated decks and more complicated oh, matchups, yeah. you want to brag, uh, right? You become so good at them that regular playing of Hearthstone, like mm. if you're really good at Freeze Mage, you can bring down the ladder and hit hunters all day that just don't know what the hell they're doing against Freeze Mage. <laughs> they literally just have no idea and they're they're garbage against it. So, I think that that's definitely part of. Why well, that's that's at such odds what people think, but that's what, like one of the best things in Hearthstone. It's like one of my very favorite things that people like vastly disagree on the balance of, of certain matchups. Yeah, yeah, I love that that part of it. It's like totally not StarCraft, right? No, and well, <laughs> in StarCraft, everyone thinks that their race is the weakest. <laughs> That is, <laughs> it's actually like to a T. It's like really, it's a, it's a sad it's thing to listen to pros. Like, <laughs> you're like, well, I mean, Protoss is just so overpowered. I'm like, did Protoss win any tournaments this year? I'm like, I don't even, what are we talking about anymore? Well, they are not changing their classes. I mean, the races. Oh, they changed them. Legacy of the Void, man. Whole game's on its head right now. <laughs> okay. But, well, uh, <laughs> About the hunter, if you have a bad hand, then you can't win anyway. But if you get a decent starting hand, like turn one leper gnome into mm. turn two whatever into turn three animal companion hopper, yeah, that's a that's a decent starting hand. Uh, you know, coming into this tournament, I thought we were gonna see a lot more freeze mage. Yeah, I really, really thought that we were gonna see like 
I don't know, up to 75% of players playing Freeze Mage. I was so wrong. But the same with uh, Face Hunter. I also expected way more Face Hunter. Like Freeze Mage and Face Hunter. Mm -hmm. But almost everyone expected that and almost everyone like kind of yeah. dodged those classes. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just, it's really weird because I, I really felt like that was going to be the case. Uh, but absolutely was not, so... <laughs> Have to see how this matchup this is, uh, fares. This is weird that he decided to not um, trade with the Hunter Creeper into the Talnos to get like two more damage phase, mm. and he clears the board. And he there's no AOE in turn is five, he so, so he has more damage next turn as well. Could have been playing around Cone of Cold, I guess, but I think everyone took Cone of Cold out for Tarzan in this yeah. deck, right? So yeah, Tarzan is insane. Hmm. Like every point of damage matters. Like this looks like a like. Like a small misplay or something, but every additional damage you can get as face well, under matters so much. You got also the juggles, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You have because you have the two spider links for next turn. That's additional two damage for next turn. Yeah. So you would have four, four more damage. damage. Yeah. Uh, actually, three because you trade for the final, so you lose one. Yeah. Oh, oh no, because you attack for one. No, no, no. Then you're yeah. right. it's for four points of damage more. And you unless, clear the board unless Doomsayer Frost Nova. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess, guess you could. <laughs> what I'm also that. like interested because every one of these players could change their decks. Mm -hmm. So I if wonder. if they would take like a flare or something yeah. for for, yes. the, for the round of eight, because you expect more freeze match because people can play more decks. That's actually exactly what I would have done in this tournament yeah. if I had been playing. Uh, I, like I would have absolutely had a flare. In a I had deck. one flare in my Oh, okay. Deck. Because you expect so many freeze mages, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it helps so much if you get one flare to clear like an ice barrier or ice block. That's, mm. that's game winning. Well, that owl is sick, but it won't matter because there's a blizzard waiting. Well, he can't even play it because there's seven minions, right? Oh, yeah, right. So, uh, that was a really good play, though, because next turn he just he pops a spider and blizzards, and that's like an entire turn of not being able to attack or even put out minions. Really well played by Oskaka so far. Does so right he have... Um, well, he can pop the Mad Scientist and just get the secret I out. Wonder. No, he can't pop... No, no. He, sh he can ping it right now. I, I think... I wouldn't do that, though. I would just Blizzard here. Yeah, I know, but the problem is now it will be Iron Big Owl. Yeah, I guess it could be. It will be. It should be. Because maybe... I, maybe it should be because... You, you don't know, think he might save that for a Doomsayer later? Why do you care about Doomsayer? Your creatures have to attack once. To deal yeah. the damage. Yeah. That's basically it. I would have definitely uh, silenced the Mad Scientist here. Because now he... He basically... What what you do for the Mad Scientist? Mm. You get 8 points of life, or you just gain additional turn. Yeah, yeah. I... I, I Looking at it, like I, I see why he didn't do it, but you're kind of convincing me here. Oh man, I think I think the freeze match got this. You just played the uh, ice uh, ice block. Yeah, and you, now you get double. Then value. you trade an extra Alex yeah. Trasa. He used already one kill command, so the freeze damage is. He has no draw. He has two dead cards in his hand. Now we can't attack with the minion anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Why did he not play? I don't know. When he wants to go aggressive. Oh, just, just yeah, extra this. Yeah, and you, and you win next turn because you yeah. attack for eight and yeah. fireball's yeah. face. That's yeah, even that's easier. It. Yeah, that's yeah. easy. <laughs> he could have done like. Why both are you ways. overcomplicating it, man? <laughs> yeah, it's like he just wins. Yeah, he does. That's it. He just wins, no matter what. Easy peasy. Yeah, and now you silence it. There you go. You silence. It. And that play wouldn't be possible if he would silence the mad scientist. <laughs> Yeah, he couldn't play the Alex Strasse. Well, actually, he can save himself here, by the way. But he, he, he has to pop the block. Also. Six. Oh, uh, yeah, he can't. Well, basically, he knows that he will die if he, do if he does that. Because why would you play Alex Strasse yeah. on your opponent when you can... No, no, he, with this many cards in hand, he's obviously yeah. going to die if he doesn't do something. But he's dead no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could draw whatever he wants. He's dead. He, oh, except he draws the flare man and draws into a second, a sec like a hey. quick shot. Yeah. That would be the flare quick shot. <laughs> that would be so cool. That's a sick combo. That would win him Actually, the here he could go quick shot flare hero power. You don't need the quick shot. You just yeah. flare and win. Okay, son. Nope. 
Wouldn't it technically have been better to fireball there and ping yes, that out? Yes, I agree. Yeah, yes. that definitely has to be a, a tiny mistake. Beep. Oh man, if you would, if you would top deck Kazano or Flair <laughs> here, that would be like yeah. the coolest thing. Yeah. I would flip. All right, so uh, first game does go to Oskaka with that freeze mage. So Hunter's out of the way, which is really... Well, Mage is out of the way. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, never mind. I've no, done uh, that 90 times this weekend. I'm so used yeah. to last year of standing. Mm. Okay, so the Hunter is still... Still has to be played. And your other matchups, Rogue should be good. Druid should be good. Hunter, well, you know, can go both ways. Hmm. So you think so you'll just play the Hunter again here? What are the other options? Priest. Priest is better against Rogue. Bad against Druid. <laughs> That's another one of those matchups where everyone has, is split whether or not Priest is good or bad against Druid. Yeah. Which one do you think, Lothar? I think uh, Druid is favored. Well, it's what not like 70-30, but I still think unless Priest got, get, uh, gets the Injured Blade Master with Circle, then Druid is fine. I, I think both decks beat the, uh, themselves. Like if the Priest draws well, he is an, uh, he's mm. favored. If the uh, Druid draws well, he's favored. I, I agree with <laughs> that. I agree with that way more than oh. the things I've heard from other people. Like, Reese against but Rogue. another thing that is very interesting, because I talked to Ignite, right? Uh, his mage is tech to beat like the mirror. He plays heal bots. Like, wow. I, I talked... Uh, what, does he go to fatigue? Um, no, he, he no, plays like freeze mage with heal bot. To oh, I thought you were talking about priest. No, 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 no. his <laughs> mage. So for me, it's interesting like what he expected Oskaka to open with. Like the only reasoning, if you play heal bots, you're good uh, against Hunter, you're good against free, mm -hmm. uh, mage, which Oskaka plays, uh, and uh, against the rogue as well. Be uh, a lot of people like the freeze mage against the rogue. So, but only against the druid. He doesn't like his freeze mate, so he is expected Oskaka to open with Druid. So well, Oskaka he was banning always Druid in the group stages. Yeah. Like he and he didn't ban Druid against Oskaka, so he expected him to open Druid. That's what I think. So uh, Oskaka got... Yeah, 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 that's yeah, why yeah, open yeah, Hunter, of yeah, course. Right, yeah, right. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know what's sad? Is that Antic Healbot is the best healer card that Breeze can have. Yeah. That's super it sad. It totally is. It's, <laughs> the, it's the pretty mech, much the best heal card. The mech is just better at healing than Priest. Oh, yeah. And e even not more just, sad... Not just mech, but also Druid yeah, and Paladin oh, and Warrior. Warrior is better than, than All of them at are heals. Because like, he has the best heal card. Three, three mana, five points of life, and draw a card. I do have to say that Priest is better at healing than Hunter, though. Yeah. Um, except except Toy the Hunter deck. That was better. <laughs> yeah. that was of course. <laughs> Alright, so uh Rogue against Priest, I would definitely And again Oskaka got the, the, the best possible yeah. matchup. He got the rogue into he is really winning like the mind game so far. Mm. The Death Lord is kinda annoying though. Yeah, oh, it is yeah. annoying. That is actually very underrated against Rogue. It's it's great against Rogue because basically like a giant. Yeah. You have to somewhat somehow kill it. It doesn't pressure yeah. you so much, but you and have to waste eight points of damage, which is like one free of the damage that Rogue can do in the whole game. And the thing is, it oftentimes will bring out something like, let's say that it brought out a Van Cleef, right? That's hilarious. Yeah. You're happy. It's you want to bring out his Van Cleef. Yeah, in the past, like you could have summoned the Leroy. Yeah, you won yeah. The game oh, that way. was always my favorite. You can also compare it to the old mid-range hunter when you play the turtle, the snap Joe. Yeah. As yeah. a rogue, you were like raging how to kill that stuff. <laughs> that is the last thing yeah. that you want to use a sap on. Oh, yeah. I wonder. Well, but, his, but his hand is amazing from the rogue. Mm. He's the backstab on Cliff. He can play a 6-6. Six, six. I would do it. So good. Yeah, absolutely. Do it! Do it, dead. And now you already put, uh, put the priest on a death. Wait, uh, he's playing oh, on a death as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Well, hey, that was a good well, call. Oh, good call, <laughs> good call. And now the death lord dies in two, two attacks. Yeah, that's a... Uh, well, oh, well, you have set. I mean, he'll heal it, so... He has sickle as well, he has Naru as well. Yeah. He's probably going for it. If he draws a cleric here, that's... That yeah, that's insane. insane if he draws a cleric. Holy crap. Well, you have to dagger up this turn and just pass, right? Then next turn, you hope for prep, and you <laughs> go... Nah, that sucks. 
Yeah, too. I don't really like any you of have, That Death Lord is actually a pain in the ass. You, you know what? What I see here is two, two times pass from Rogue. Because you pass this turn, I mean, after Dagger up, and you pass next turn after, the, after you play the Violet Teacher. Because how does Sap help here? It, I don't like it, but it, I mean, it slows him down. It buys you one point of mana. Uh. That's basically what it does. I, I, I go back on what you said earlier. This one is the last minion you want to have. A Death Lord. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cheap, guys. If the, he sapped that, I windmill slam that back down. Yeah. Yeah, he has no answer. It's basically saying, oh, I will let him my sap that hand every sucks. Turn. That is really sick that the Zap is out for the Priest. Like, this yeah. early. And Th he has the oh, nice circle, like... Super important. Mm. The Death Lord basically shuts down Hunter and Rogue if they have if they don't have like Hunter doesn't have Hunter's Mark mm -hmm. or if you if you owl Death Lord that kind of sucks too, right? Yeah, no, yeah, you have to deal with them eventually. Yeah. So it, it it's very similar to the handlock matchup right now because you you can sap at Twilight Drake, but why would you, right? Got to take a sabotage, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna happen. <laughs> I was playing sabotage. <coughs> Excuse me. I was playing sabotage some time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I really like liked it. it. Yeah. Like one sabotage. Yeah. Especially kinda, cool I in mean, the mirror matchup. It can be quite nice. Yeah. I was talk like I was watching some Chinese players uh, stream and they like to play sabotage and rogue. And then I mentioned it and then hype was like, oh no, this card is garbage. <laughs> but Black Knight. Yeah, that card. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, but, but funny enough, Black Knight would be good against that. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> Black Knight is an answer for that. Unfortunately, Raynad is out of the tournament, so mm. I think he was the only Black Knight I've seen all weekend. Yeah. Right? It's a very bad meta for, for, for Black Knight. Yeah. What? I talked like to, to many people. It's yeah, I said the same for, uh, to my son when he was asking me if I have Black Knight in my palette, and I was like, well, what's the reason for that? Mm. Uh, how can I into Light of Naru to kill the 4-2? What mm. well, do you I think, think about that? I feel like I would heal him up and kill the 4-2. Oh, well, how can I use a 3-5, three, three, which can really help you against those uh, against that Violet Teacher? I, g I agree with the healing up, because you buff up the 1-2. Yeah. And it at some point, you have the Ohe Knife with the Circle to clear his mm. entire board. And you can potentially also clear what uh, comes out of the Death Lord as well. Yeah. Okay. And you get the card. You get the, the Light Warden, which is nice. Like It might not do anything, but... If he doesn't deal with Light Warden right now, it trades with something big or does a lot of damage. Yeah. And he's already a backstep. That's like the, the yeah. easiest response to that. Imagine if the Death Lord will proc a War Golem from the deck. A War Golem? <laughs> yeah. What about a, a, a Force Tank Max or whatever that thing no, is? No, War Golem, you know, Dr. Boom, right? Then it doesn't oh, spell okay, the bombs okay, as okay. a War Golem. I thought we were just naming bad, huge cards. <laughs> okay, I get the game now. <laughs> He still can't kill it. He can't kill any of those minions. He can't do anything. But that is so rare from a rogue perspective. Yeah. Like, you always have something. Well, you would have to sacrifice the Eviscerate, right? Uh, you know, he's he hasn't lost the game yet, though. Even though this is... It, like, right now, if I was a priest, I would feel so great. But, but this is going <laughs> slow enough that those sprints are going to be yeah. playing this game no matter what. That's the problem when you play against a rogue. If you give him time to draw those cards, then he just blade flurries your... Every single card away, and it's like that is, really sad. That is actually a pretty sick draw. Yeah, the, the Valence chosen is sick as hell. Wow. You, can, you can clear the bot and you still have the Death Lord up. God, that's so good. And you can also circle. I might actually think about circling. He saw a Zap already. He saw he can't kill the Death Lord. What do like, you just heal up the, the Death Lord. It trades with everything. I would really like to see a 10-2 uh, Light Warden. That would be awesome. I love those. Did you guys see that highlight clip of Kalento getting the Light Wardens for the kill? Yeah, yeah. that was like that was so sick. Really sick. All right, here's the question: Do you actually get rid of this with Deadly Poison Blade Fury? <laughs> this is your chance. This is it. Hmm? I don't get it. He's setting well, up some. Yeah. Okay, so next turn. But Priest will just slam. Low tip, right? Well, the, the fact that he just did that, I am <laughs> healing this so hard. Yeah, so you play low tip and yeah. heal it. Yeah. 
That is so good. Oh my god. I, I would feel invincible as this priest right now, <laughs> this but I still see two sprints, so I'm like, okay, anything can still occur. That's an IC, bro. 4-12. Nice. A 4-7. That's an ancient mage, my friend. No, no, no I, I meant with the <laughs> maximum stats. Yeah. <laughs> that's a damage to Sarah. Look, at, he even has spell power. That is an ancient mage that we are looking yeah. at. He has taunt. Somehow he got a spare part in this deck. <laughs> so sick. He's a samurai. <laughs> well, you have to play Drake. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> do you think so? <laughs> you can also think about the sprint. You prep, then you sprint. Then oh you break man. the game. Like. He can almost prep Deadly Poison here, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> the seven mana prep Deadly Poison, how sick would that be? What's the next turn for Priest? Fort Steel, right? Just to a Drake and be sad. No, he's even saving this. Oh, Drake. God. Okay, right. for so the big bad. Red Fury. Oh, look. You got the, the Mind Blast, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you got 9 damage to the face. Mm. But well, pay Fort Steel first. Maybe you will get the Tinker Shroud. Oh, my oil. God. Yeah, that's another great. Lotum. That's so sick. That's like the I best card. I cannot believe it's he like just got another Lotum. That's so <laughs> sick. He's, that's going to win him the game. 100%. Yeah. Could have? Just won the game. Yeah, it won the game. <laughs> it what won can the do? game. You can't do anything. That's 14 you can points. sick a next turn with the with the, yeah, with that's, the zombie that's child that's lethal. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would be Oh my god. That's still so good. Yeah, especially that deadly poison. That's a pretty sick card to have. <laughs> he just absolutely destroyed the rook wow. as priest. Well I, the Doom the, the, <laughs> the Death Lord. Just this won was the so game. funny because Oh my god. He just didn't have anything for that poor Death Lord. I bet you he is really sad about that he used that sap now. What, what, what did that you say about the sprints? Horrible. Everything can happen with those sprints, right? Those 12 mana sprints? But he can now do the, the preparation Deadly Poison. <laughs> that is true, yeah. He has the mana for that. Which Why didn't he play the Azure Drake before? I don't get it. He was a little bit too greedy. And now he's dead. Oh man. 5, 10, 14, 19 points of 21 points of damage. I would be so happy picking up this win as priest. Oh my god. Well, what? He's hesitating. Is he not what? seeing what? it? It's like. Very, it's possible. It's very obvious, Lethal. Yeah. If you played priest like for more than 20 games. Yeah. I always run into this situation with two Lothubs on the board, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's rogue. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> There we go, he's got it. It's like, I got the zombie chow, I got the circle, I got the owl line. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. Alright. Oskaka is very dead. Maybe he was eating like another slice of pizza before he killed his opponent. Maybe he was thinking about what, what? not using a card to, you know, uh, not show something. But what, ha what happened? Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh, the spell power! The spell power of the Death Lord! Oh my god! Yeah. The spell power of the Death Lord! <laughs> oh my god! No, I totally nobody saw about that! that too. Nobody saw that! Like, nobody! We didn't see it! He insane. didn't see it! And, oh my god, that is the worst mistake. Oh, no Nobody way. saw that. Yeah, like, nobody saw that. Do you nobody. know that this is a possible comeback right now? Yeah, yeah. we know. This is a really, really possible thing. Ignite is tilt, sick with tilt, himself right tilt. now. It's like, like he was putting up his hands in the air. And was like, when he turned around, I'm like, it looks like he's upset. He should yeah. be really happy. Like, I forgot. I have done things like this before. Oh with my that, God. you forget that that thing has spell power, man. Yeah. The ancient mage strikes back. Wow! Holy crap! Look at this. For the viewers, because maybe some viewers didn't okay, get yeah, it, Okay, yeah, they right? don't understand what went on. What happened is that Circle of Healing restores health, full health to all menus. But when you have the Alcanized Soul Priest, uh, you change the, dam uh, the heal to damage. But you had also the Valence Chosen on the Death Lord, which has spell power. And then oh my you god, he got the Violet Teacher. Oh my god. It's like god. the best card. Yeah. And so it, it and kills then it the killed Alcanized. the Alcanized, so the Zombie Chow doesn't do damage, but it, it heals. heals. Yeah. 
Holy crap. And now he is looking at this. He's like, did I just lose this game? Yeah, you just lost he the game. He is going to beat himself up forever. Because of that misplay. Yeah. Holy crap. But we would have done the same. Yeah. Totally. Here's what actually would have Not happened. Not that Tosis, but no, we no, would have no. done it. You two would have done that. <laughs> I would have missed lethal. <laughs> and then killed him the next turn. <gasps> no way. He actually just gave up. Oh my god. How does it like the tilt affect is real? Yeah, how does it affect well, now his Well, That's like the most tilted thing ever, right? Because he didn't actually have to leave the game right yeah. there. He could have still tried at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's tilted. He is devastated. He's devastated though. for that misplay. His knight is looking for a tournament win too. He's like not here, not today. It's his chance. Yeah. You know, he's like a player who's trying for so long, you know? Yeah. And that is so brutal, man. That this happens. He's like focused the whole time. Like he wasn't like talking so much with other players. He was like looking at replays. He's mm -hmm. like really trying. I yeah. think he needs a few minutes of uh, Yeah, I think, I think he down. wants to maybe go to the bathroom, collect himself a bit, which you can't blame him for. Like that is... Uh, yeah, that was heartbreaking. Beating himself up over that, man. Uh, so, okay, we can go back to the couch and... Wow. Be sarcastic uh, for some time, right? Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm always in that mode. Uh, um... <laughs> Oskaka right now so is just like... what we learned, three-minute break, okay? Uh, I bet there's already a topic on Reddit, which is the most upvoted thing on the site. There is a GIF of him turning around in his chair, and then it going Is there off. a GIF of, of us kissing? Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. And now everyone's looking for that. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we yeah. will look into your notebook. So the priest is still up. So it's 2-0 for Oskaka, right? Yes. Yeah, it's 2-0 for Oskaka. His mage and his rogue are gone. Mage and rogue are gone, which is super important for Oskaka because the rogue had a really bad matchup against the hunter. Mm -hmm. And now the hunter has to play against another hunter or druid. So if you lose against the hunter, if you get you, if you get the mirror match this and is you lose, then basically the druid has only to win against... It's not so easy, actually, to do, you know? Druid even can beat after, everything. Even after free o for Oskaka, he can still yes. lose four times with the Druid. Yes, the, the Druid actually is not... Per, like, it's not a win against any of this, right? Which is also interesting, because Ignite was banning in the group stage the Druid. And now... Well, he switched up his strategy completely, it seems. Yeah. Like he doesn't... Because his warrior is banned, the Druid actually doesn't have anything that I would consider a good matchup here. Right? Except the freeze mage. Yeah, but the oh yeah, oh right, he's playing the freeze mage, right? So the druid has a really good but matchup as the freeze uh, mage. Does he take? Is it really good? It's good, but yeah, really I mean, good. It is freeze like mage really can win. It's not yeah. as bad as like against warrior. Yeah, I lost the wood druid to the freeze mage. Uh, but wait, if that's mech mage, oh he could he could have because we haven't actually yeah, seen yeah, yeah, it yet. Yeah. Oh. That could be mech mage. If that's mech yeah. mage, yeah, it's he could like have also changed it. Even if he would have seen it, yeah. he could have changed the mage to like a mech mage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. But but the the. I think it's freeze mage. The devastating He's thing is that he got like a unfavorable matchup again with the priest against the rogue, and he had a chance to yeah. win. That that was. It was like not even a chance. He could have like if he instead of doing that just passed the turn without attacking, yeah. he would have won the game. You yeah. know, like yeah. the thing is that like even if he can win now, right? If he plays perfectly, can he like stabilize mentally? After that. Well, that's why he's taking a little three-minute break here. I think he's out having a cigarette or something, like just chilling, you know, try to get your head back Chill in the with zone. Yeti? <laughs> he's chilling Yeti. Too soon, Walter. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, yeah. The Yeti went extinct recently. Oh, man. Uh, well, now we know you don't play Valence Chosen in Priest. It does suck. That spell power can really bite you in the butt, can it? It's it's interesting when you forget about it and then you miss lethal with like holy fire or holy nova because you you miss that one point mm. of damage, right? Maybe maybe he was looking at Twitch chat and they were all spamming lethal lethal. lethal. Wait, what about <laughs> the? <laughs> it's what? like yeah yeah. That's that is chat lethal. What we just saw. Yeah. What? Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Didn't Blizzard? That's the uh, best example of chat lethal I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, but didn't Blizzard update the client to, like, you know, the cards that have the spell power f effect? Like, in effect, right? They glow. They glow. It glue. Glue. It yeah. glue. <laughs> it glow. Past sense of glow. Glue. <laughs> it, it glue. <laughs> it glue. <laughs> How often do you that one you, uh, use that one? Yeah. It glue. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if I've ever said the word glow before. I probably have, but I don't know. Oh, my God. 
I'm not normally around neg- native English speakers. There is no one to rub off on me with good <laughs> yeah. English, I have to say. <laughs> That's awesome. I live in Korea and go to Europe all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. So next time you watch if your cards are glowing. Yes. No. And have glitter on it. You gotta, I guess you gotta double check that spell fire. That really caught us all off guard too. Yeah. 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 Also that like, circle in general plus spell power, like how often do we see that? Not too often. Like Not in general, often. never. Yeah. yeah. But I, I remember there was a topic on Reddit that, uh, it, with exactly that situation, when you kill your Aokanai with the circle at the same time with the zombie child, it does heal. It, it, there was a topic like half a year ago or something like that. You, well, maybe he should have read that. Well, uh, you know what? If he wasn't reading Reddit, that probably made him an even better Hearthstone player anyway. So oh, yeah. That yeah. website not necessarily conducive to having a healthy mindset. <laughs> you get cancer for that, but he's already smoking cigarettes, so... Huh. <laughs> oh, Lothar. All right, he's back. All right, so... Got him here and him here. Okay, so we should be getting into this next game pretty quickly here. What do you bring out as Ignite? Because you're going up against either Druid or Hunter. So I think far, you go you... Hunter, right? Huh? You go Hunter? You think just straight Hunter? Yeah, just chill for one game. Mm, maybe Priest. Go for the face maybe damage. Maybe Priest. Because the Priest is also taken out against a Hunter with the Death Lords, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He has Death Lords, oh, you're yeah. right. And he has Zombie Chows, yeah, in Light of Naru. He can, yeah, he can take out Hunter with that. So, yeah, uh, yeah I wouldn't mind him going yeah, Priest. Yeah, That priest, makes sense. Yeah. Well, this hand sucks. That's all right. You have the mulligan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so doesn't suck. It's actually good to get the the worst cards before the mulligan. <laughs> like mind controls, you, you can't can get it back. You can get it the second time. Second Kabbalah Priest, second Holy Fire, second Ninja Blade Master. Second no, I mean, like, shield. if I play Sarah mind control as a priest and I get it in the first mulligan, I'm happy. So I can't get, like, the worst possible hand. You, but wouldn't you be you more draw happy it again 30% <laughs> of the time in the first oh, draw? Look. Look, there's Ninja Blade Master. But yeah. there's Zombie Chow and Shadow World Oh, Pain. there you go. So that's, that's, a, that's a good draw. He even plays Shadow World Pain. Really bad hand for Oskaka. That is... I don't like that at all. Well, you have the Animal Companion, so that's a mission. It right? is actually a very good hand for Oskaka. Really? That, yeah. Uh, Knife Jungle is the best minion. You don't want to have any one drop against Priest because he dies to, to Cleric and that's Zombie Chow. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, that's and, and, true. And Knife Jungle trades with everything else. And Animal Companion is like the winning card against Priest. So knife juggler and animal right. companion. Are I take it back. That's a that is a fantastic <laughs> hand for Scott. <laughs> yeah. But it's also real like an even better hand for Ignite yeah. because he has the Shadow Pain for the knife juggler and he has the zombie chop because that's like the best card mm. we have against Hunter. Oh, I just got a tweet. The circle of healing doesn't glow if you have Alkanipal spell power. Said Beyond Bro. Oh, interesting. Oh no! Well, I was talking about the minion was glowing because it was giving spell power, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's yeah, yeah. Usually the card, yeah, the this, yeah. The, the damage card, yeah, has so to glow. They actually should change the heal to uh, to be also affected by the spell power. So you heal more when you have spell power, right? Yeah, that should make sense. Hmm. But th- that abusive surgeon, do you? Try to snipe down the uh, the zombie chop. What, what are the chances? Yeah, you. I think you. Well, they're very low, <laughs> but I think you definitely play this. <laughs> <It's like laughs> First, you have to hit the zombie chop in one out of three. No, you didn't. And then you have to hit it twice again. Uh, uh, that would be so sick. That would be like. <laughs> that would be insane. Now if he wants happened, to go everything. Oh, that's the that be- that's more like the outcome. That is like best. <laughs> that's like more likely to happen that you miss all shots. <laughs> <laughs> but the death lord will just shut down everything. Now, I I have to say, I think if all three of the knives hit the zombie chow, that Ignite would have left the game right there. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. I'm fairly after, certain of it. After what happened last game? Yeah. Oh. He would just be like, okay, screw this. This isn't my day. He would just get up and leave and let it rope out until he loses. <laughs> so just going to slam down the death lord and trade with the juggler. That would win him the game. Almost. What, killing the chow? No, trading the oh, chow to yeah, the, yeah. and playing the death lord because there's no hunter smack. Mm. I do kill yeah. the death lord. Yeah. And he has the Naru for healing it up next turn. Oh, mm. God. Maybe you can wait one more turn with the def, uh, with the death lord? Why the? Hell no. I'm just saying. To bring out conversation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> because then you can use the shadow or pain on the knife juggler and kill the abusive sergeant. Yeah, I mean, you could. 
how, how about no? <laughs> okay. Why don't we just get fair the enough? Card out? Fair enough. Oh, that's a really good card. If he gets yeah. like a Leok or Huffer, that's a clear. Yeah, and then you get a Whip Spinner. Misha. Oh, Huffer. Oh, okay, there it so is. So now Animal Companion, uh, Abuse of Sergeant, the Huffer, right? And sacrifice uh, the Abuse of Sergeant too. Get in there and fight, maggot! Because I think I would rather have the Spectral Tokens. Right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I mean that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's a really good spot. Yeah. Arkengon would be even better. Oh, imagine uh, Lero Jenkins. Oh, man. And suddenly it look, looks very bad. You have to paint that one. Hmm. Oh, would you heal uh, Naru yourself? Uh, no. no, no. Too, too soon. Too soon? <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Now you have to paint heal. Yeah. yeah. It's the effectively like yeah, it's the like same one damage reduction, but yeah. more, more exactly. efficient. Well, y you don't get the creature, right? Which can also clear one of the spectral um, spiders or the abusive surgeon. Yeah. So it's basically like more healing by two at least. Well, I don't like that so much. I, I guess it trades with one card. Yeah. But just. No, I, I mean, I think you're right the way. The way that you put it, Ooh. I think the heal would have been better there. You can just use this later on for the same purpose. Yeah. Like he's he's not threatening lethal at all. Like he's yeah. not even close. He has the slash pressure for next turn, and if he draws a pyromancer, he can just easy, easy. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. if it's a snake trap, you're kind of wrecked. If that's a snake trap, yeah, do you think you attack here into a minion because you you are not sure if that's a snake trap? Oh, that's a good card. That's not the snake trap. <laughs> well, we know it's not a snake <laughs> trap. We did see an aggro hunter play snake trap. I was yesterday. playing a snake trap. And, oh, okay, and was Ignite was playing against me, and he was wrecked by the snake trap. Snake trap. So he's probably remembering that. He's remembering every bad beat he's ever had and every mistake <laughs> he's ever done right now. Ignite is looking into his own soul very deeply to try to figure out what to do. You attack one of the... Yeah, snakes. he's thinking about yeah. it. Oh, God, if that's what a snake trap... You have to trade with a uh, two-one though. You can't be greedy because the the four damage on board doesn't trade with the sludge belcher. Huh? Yeah. Well, until the little snakes come out. Yeah, then you basically. And then that sludge belcher is so dead. And imagine. He, up. He, and he <laughs> doesn't have any any beasts on the board, so that's a snake trap. And you have a kill command, then you oh, basically kill the belcher for free. Yeah, and he was f afraid of that. Yeah. You could have man up, man. No bolts. Ignite is a, a broken human right now. Poor guy. And now he will get the snake trap from the meds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ignite will draw Cabal Shadow Priest. Next, will he? Next turn. You, you will see. But well, lucky, you will see. luckily, he doesn't have a uh, like uh, owl. Owl is like the, the, the card you're the most afraid in this situation. Yeah, that's true. If he trades everything into the Sludge Pulcher, he's fine with that. Sort of. Well, you still didn't Ish. hear. And the the holy fire is so important in this matchup. Yeah. But you need something else. Like that. That's yeah, that's that's okay. That's pretty swag. What? Wow. Why would you do that? He's clearing the board. Well, I guess that trades can with you the, check uh, the the worgen. Can you check the trap? It's an explosive trap. Oh, it is a snake trap. <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> oh, Lothar. <laughs> He's very sneaky. Yeah, he is. But uh, but the, the I, I didn't like the whole fire at all, you know? Yeah. It's like basically delaying the Injured Blade Master by two turns. Mm. Oh man, that's like the best card in his deck to draw. Yeah. The Sludge Belcher. Well, the, the Cabal Shadow Priest, it's also great. Is he just... Yeah, he's like, I know you play Snake Trap. Yeah, now he knows. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's top deck mode for Oskaka. Kill command, but no, no beast. beast. Wow. And you watch. Uh, oh. Where where is quick shots? I don't know how many traps he has. I only see quick shot in full hands. I want to see quick shot, quick shot, kill command. Where's that? I don't know. I haven't in seen the deck? dream yet. Have yeah. you seen the dream yet? No, I haven't seen it. So quick shot, quick shot, Leo Jenkins. Oh, quick shot, quick shot, kill command. 
I've seen so many people talking Sick about that. It's 13 damage <laughs> out yeah. of zero cards in hand. It's like, Lito, that's 14. force of nature, oh, wow. but look, without look, cards. Look, 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 look. Come on, Shadow Priest. Oh, wow, he did The it. second best card in his deck. Yeah. Like, there's no way the Hunter can come yeah. back from this. He needs Buzzard Unleash. <laughs> That's sick. Buzzer Unleash is very expensive nowadays. Yeah, it's like eight mana And then he combo. needs to draw into his... Hunter's uh, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> he needs the Owl now. Just wait. He, he he can live two another turns. So he needs the Owl. Then... And then a Miracle. Mm. I want... Uh, you know what he needs is the one tech flare in his deck. So that he can uncloak this and it gets attacked. So he has a beast. So a kill command will do something. That was so cool if he fought steals and gets the one flare. That would be <laughs> insane. <laughs> kills, the, kills the snake in your face. Oh, man. And it decloaks the thing, too, so he just kills <laughs> yeah. that as well. It's just like... That would be so sick. No, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm... What a funny I'm reason to level. lose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, one Do time. Him. One time. Oh, oh that's an owl. Eh. <laughs> you can pass it to the hunter player. Like, here you go. Just circle it up. Why would you circle? Angel Blade Master, circle hero power. Oh, you face. mean Angel Blade Master? Yeah, yeah. How can you lose? What about the Glaive Zuka? Oh, yeah, you gotta use Glaive Zuka. Yeah. Gara, come on. Tilt You're not going for the BM just yet. Tilt him. Just, just circle it up. Why well, is he thinking about attacking? He knows it's, it's not. No, no, Maybe he's he forgot. No, he's <laughs> thinking about how to BM his opponent. Oh, okay. He's like. Should I go with the, the mana inefficient play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should definitely go for that. Does he have lethal next turn? 5, 8, 10, 12. That's not lethal next turn. That's a mistake. Yeah, well, if he had played the injured blade master, it'd yeah, be lethal. Would be lethal. L le lethal. You just wanted to zuka it up. That sludge belcher, man. Well, All right. Well, he concedes. So first game for a knight, so it's 1-2. Four Skaka still. The most brutal one too that I've seen yet. Maybe he maybe it will like the win was important for Ignite in so many ways. Mm. Well if he lost that, his brain just falls apart and that's it. Yeah. Now that's he true. now he's back in the zone, I'm pretty sure. Like yeah. he won that game. No, so what do you think that now will be used? Uh. Um, well, I, I mean, he's going up against either Druid or Hunter. He would probably so, save the Paladin for last, right? Because Paladin... So, hun Hunter? Hunter now, right? I would yeah, I would use Hunter. I think because you have the Hunter coin flip, and if you lose that, at least you know you're against Druid. Yeah. When do you use the Mage, then? Uh, I think you... I, I still don't know what... what I think what you do is. is you go Hunter, and you really hope he puts down Druid. And yeah. then you can use the mage against the, the hunter. Yeah. Because you said he was playing heal bots before, yeah. so it's like, if he can get that matchup, he can just it's like depends, really, really win this. Depends who's winning the mind games here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll do this. No problem. Yeah, so he hoped he would switch. Mm -hmm. And Oskaka was like, yeah, I hope you're not going for the mage. <laughs> Something like that. Well, we got the that's mirror. That's a good hand. Uh, that's a, that's Oskaka's hand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's not, And that's um, kind of okay. We'll see then. Depends two what cards. You keep all of those, right? Yeah, this is the dream, man. Yeah. Maybe the animal companion. But no, I, I would I would definitely keep it because you have the hunted creeper, even if you got Leok, it's really great. Yeah. You you know yeah, like when you go second with the coin you don't want one drops, you want the the two drops of the coin and you want the, the free drop, like the ah. curve. Mm. So this hand is like perfect. I'm not sure if something something happened. No, never mind. Oh that's just awful. He plays Plays a tracking. You have to play the tracking. Yeah, if, 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 if he discards traps now, that will be really bad. Lucky. Wolf Rider can go on Glaive Zuka. So you take the Glaive Zuka. Yeah, the Glaive Zuka. Click. Click it Click. For him. Click. Help him. Click. Click. I, I will drag it to the hand. Mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Nope. But I can do this. Great job. <laughs> That's well. Can you turn that into a like a zebra hide? Yeah, us? that's that's all I can do in this tournament so far. It's a leopard. Come on. Ah, yeah, there I go. got it. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Now I can click the mm. this. Beep, 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 beep. Can you take the coconuts down at least? There you go. Yeah, just one of them. Leave the other one up. Okay. Can't wait for the 
Wait, is it out yet? The the molten core? No, not yet. Not yet. That that one looks cool. Wait, which? The oh arena. no no! Why isn't it out? I think it, they should just release that. How much better would this tournament be if we could yeah. play with that during this? That would be so cool. We could find out, like, shift the meta of playing with the map yeah. at this tournament. So Mad Scientist, the Mad Scientist, that's cool, bro. Cool story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you get double unleashed the hounds, and dub that's that looks like a poker hand. Yeah, two pair. Oskaka should can will probably just go face because he's like uh, the first one to yeah, yeah. go face. Mm -hmm. I agree. Force the opponent to trade. Oh, that's nice. You can kill the hunted creeper and play nap juggler into leper gnome, or you can go glaive zuka and leper gnome, and I think that's better. So you play Glyph Zuka, buff your, buff your uh, Mad Scientist, go face, kill the Mad Scientist with the attack, I think. Yeah, no. I like the face, actually. I no, think in Hunter it depends Hunter, I like the, to just attack face if you get a traps. damage lead. Yeah, but it's usually, usually more, most likely he gets a free explosive trap. Usually they play with two explosive trap or no snake trap or two explosive trap and one snake trap. So statistically, he will get more likely an explosive trap, and you don't want your bot to get mm. a free, free, clear. Like give your opponent a free clear on your board. So you just go face, let him trade, if he wants to clear your board. Anyone who trades in this matchup with these boards is a coward. Yeah, like something like that. Yeah, you gotta go face. You play the chicken. You get. Here, where's Leok? There he is. Oh. <laughs> it's always Leok. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not bad. Hell, I like Leok here with that Haunted Creeper. Yeah. It's like outplayed the game. Yeah. Why would you kill that? So you have more damage, I guess? But then the Explosive Trap has Oh, more. man. Oh. That, that's the dream for next turn. And now you... Oh, yeah. You always trade the, the Mad trap. Scientist whenever you mm -hmm. want the, the clear. And you attack face? Why don't you have attack face? You have like six more weapons in your deck. Maybe because you can clear something up with that. No, the reason why you don't play weapon. Oh, is you don't. You, you you won't play it. Ne if you even if you draw a weapon, you won't play it next turn. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it does, if it doesn't man up, the, this, like the 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 part here is now. If he doesn't cl uh, like suicide his board, you he have will to. get he will get destroyed by by knife chucker. Yeah. Yeah. He has to because when you don't, you basically lose the whole turn if you don't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you you don't play you know trading game against a hunter most likely unless it's a knife juggler. So what's the second trap you have to check? Misha is really good. Snake trap. Snake trap. Okay. Misha nice. plus snake trap is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a combo. So you go attack first into the Misha, and then you play knife juggler. <laughs> yeah, seriously, <laughs> if you think that's a snake trap, <laughs> that is the sickest play. Well, if he it's might not do it so well, you can drop look. explosive. Yeah, exactly. But now you can't do it. Oh, that sucks. Well, still you have this explosive trap, so it's not yeah. so bad. Yeah, works totally fine. Yeah. You, have, you you did avoid four points of damage, but wouldn't you mind attacking that Glaive Zuka into the Misha? And if it's not Snake Trap, then you play the explosive trap anyway, and you have still the pirate, right? Actually, in well, you have no weapon with the pirate. In this matchup, but like every the creature. In this matchup, like every point of health matters, and taking four additional damage from the Misha might actually lose him the game in the end. Like he's still leading in damage. Yeah, but he would have the board control. It but doesn't matter. Why? Why it doesn't matter? You would have, you would have knife juggler on, on your board and four doggies. So those four doggies and four juggles would basically win the game, in my opinion. Yeah, unless this another explosive trap comes down. Those are already By the way, one play. But the opponent has two doggies as well. About the haha. -ha. Yeah. I haven't seen him in yeah. in these lists. That's kinda cool. Me neither, yeah. That's like a I guess he was expecting like a lot of hunters. Yeah, now now he can do the sick play as well. He can kill the hunted yeah, creeper. But that's the second hunted creeper. And he so can you you wouldn't like expect that. It worked for him, but yeah. yeah. No. You, you kill it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you kill it and play Knife Juggler. Absolutely. Especially after having the second hound. So even if your opponent has Juggler hounds, you can still kill it. Do, do you know what we're about yeah. to watch, by the way? Do you guys remember way back in the beginning of Hearthstone where we just watched Argent Commanders run into each other for four turns? <laughs> we are about to see that with Unleash. 
We are going to see like unleash, 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 unleash. It's coming back. Remember the Argent Commander with three points of health? That was ridiculous. Yeah. That's why you had to run another Argent Commander into it. <laughs> That's the only way to get rid of it. And then his Divine Shields pop, so another Argent Commander comes in. Like, it all starts with the guy that plays the Twilight Drake. <laughs> the, the best answer was... You pop the divine shield with, the, with your dagger when you lo when you rogue, and then you play the Falnos into the backstep, and you're so happy. <laughs> what are the other options? Is like considering, I wonder. I like just play hounds and hero power. He's just checking everything he has, and if any of it has spell damage. The thing that he's like said about he's this... He's actually taken a while. Yeah, you want to hero power every turn, right? And next turn he could do the same play with hero power. So he's kind of sad about that a little bit. Nah, but you get... Three, he's six. like very close to lethal. Yeah. You got six points of damage from that play. So why would you think about hero powering for two? Yeah. Just to be greedy, because he doesn't have lethal in his hand. Like, his hand kind of sucks besides those two cards, right? That doesn't matter, because you will draw something relevant. Yeah, yeah. I know, but... You, are, you he's tr just considering everything. What did he throw away from the tra tracking? Um, Arcane Golem Wolf Rider. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's like a big discard. Like it's very good top deck for later on. Yeah, Wolf Rider. Exactly. He played already yeah. one Wolf Rider, right? Yeah. What was that? He didn't use any Arcan Golems yet. Oh, I can bet that there's one Arcan Golem left or Leo Jenkins. Yeah. He can still like top deck the Hunter Creepers and stuff. He can. He has a lot of dead draws left in his deck. Still, when you have the uh, knife jogger up, it's not as dead as usual. Well, that guy's going down, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, they aren't going to have any minions left on the board, so I guess that Unleash wouldn't isn't coming out anymore. Wouldn't you mind sec to double Unleash here? What do you think about that? Six. Six doggies? I can't you sacrifice two and you go four. Oh man, that's like if he draws that's another such weapon. such a good draw. Because, wow. he, because he didn't draw, even if he gets Leog, that would be so yeah. insanely good. Yeah. He could double did, Misha in this game, right? Yeah, double Misha. No, 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 no. The the other Misha was uh, from Oh, Skata. yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many hunters in the same game. <laughs> too many. Oh, Maximum of two, and that's too many. <laughs> too many so now juggler top deck. Bang. No. Yeah, there's no way. Well, you have to play Wolf Rider and Unleash the Hounds. Or Unleash the Hounds and uh, Kill Command. So Kill Command Misha. I mean, first, Unleash the Hounds. Kill Command Misha. You got six Hounds. Your opponent has four damage on the board. And he will get a trap. I, I can't oh remember God. how many traps he, uh, how many traps Ignite was playing, and how much did he get. I think there was no two explosive traps are already off from Ignite, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Okay. But the, the thing is, as soon as you start trading like this, you can't win anymore as a face hunter. Like eight That's life, true. whatever he top decks, you know. Yeah. But, he has to but now aggressive. he's dead. Yep, he had, he had oh, to. Oh, look, there's a snake turn. That is not a good draw. It was, it was still the winning play. Yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Bang! Unleash the hounds. Four unleash the hounds in one game. Yeah. Doggies are real. Another win for Ignite. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Very important. Big. That break surely helped him to regain the focus. All right, that leaves him with Paladin and Mage against Druid and Hunter. Paladin and Mage against Druid and Hunter. Doesn't look bad. It's still doable. I don't think that the, the Freeze Mage against Druid is as bad as Gara thinks, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. It's just when I play the Hunter, you know, then the Hunter's favorite. Oh, okay. Oh, he's <laughs> so way. good, Gara. I play Double Flare, man. That's a skill. Okay. Double flare. That's Double flare. <laughs> You're that's getting pretty heavy I'm on those so two drops, huh? I'm that's so like four good. points of mana. When do you squeeze that? You have no time for that, bro. You do it towards the end of the game when your quick shots are in your hand and you're trying to... Yeah. Quick shot into flare, into quick shot, into flare. Into hero power. Into hero power. Sick. Ah, oh, that's the best And there's ever. so no secrets by then. Oh, look. Totally no secrets. Paladin into hunter. Well, this might suck. Yeah. It depends. You well, if he gets a draw like me in the first game, that would suck. Actually, this hand kind of looks good, but if you mulligan everything away and get the zombie chow, then you're very happy. Yeah. yeah. 
I wouldn't keep Consecration or True Silver. I, I think it's too keep slow. Anything. You have to get that mini. Uh, and yeah, you need the mini bot or need. knife juggler or zombie chow yeah. or. Yeah, the crazy part about Master is if he doesn't have the hounds, the, the car absolutely crushes um, yeah. uh, Agro Hunter. He's probably just thinking about the master and looking at the opponent's mulligan. Like if the opponent is keeping like certain cards, you know he has like one drops, two drops. If he mulligans everything away, he kno he knows he has like a crappy hand. Alright, he actually keeps Consecration. It's reasonable. Yeah, he knows he plays Snake Trap, right? So probably that's the main oh. reason. Oh, wow. Pyro. That's a great combo with Master. <laughs> that's a great combo with... Yeah, that's fantastic with Muster. With Muster, yeah. <laughs> totally. You get a weapon and a point of damage it's, to all the It's minions. very similar Pretty to the sick. play Ignite already did. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar to that. A five mana, one damage to OE. That's freaking real. You watch, he'll play it all quick, too. He'll have Pyro out, and he'll go Muster wow. Quartermaster real fast. Oh, equality. Well, now you can equality those one half minions. Nuts. Yeah, it's... Well, equality is going to come really into play against the Arcane Golem. But Oskaka's hand is kind of <laughs> awful. Yeah, it is. I agree. I would have played the Snake Traps there. Yeah, me too. The chance that yeah. he the chance that he trades them on one into a two one is insanely high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he he probably wouldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, this was uh, Oskaka was in autopilot because he sees the secret, so he's like, "Oh crap! If I draw that other secret, this guy's <laughs> yeah, garbage." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that is like I really agree. autopilot. I, I think agree. that was a big misplay. Also because of the master, turn three master is also very likely. Yes, that's very true. Ouch. And now you get the wild pyromancer equality, so you don't have to worry about yeah. the snake trap so, anymore. So yeah, then when he plays the snake trap, he can play around it with the mm -hmm. pyromancer. Yeah. That was actually a big misplay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's also weird. Right? What, the uh, Aldor? Yes. Why would you play Aldor here? Oh, I absolutely no, would that's not play Aldor here. Uh, you you want to play Master and kill the... Yeah. yeah. That's like... Of course. Why would you do that? I wonder... I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I, kn I know that Strifeco likes to do it as well. It's like reasonable to have the free fee on the board. But I, don't I think in this... That. But in this situation, I would also just do the Master mm. and kill. Yeah. You take... I don't know. I mean, if you don't kill it this turn nice with, the, with the weapon to not take additional face damage, the Lepanum lives and attacks you, so you still get the additional yeah. face damage. So you don't really reduce the damage. No. You just wanted a body out there, I guess. So you just hero power and attack face? I wonder. Well, yeah, I, now, I, I, I don't, now, well I don't. for us, that's the best option, I think. Maybe maybe he saves it up for your Pyromancer uh, Master for Battle Play. Thank you. <laughs> I, I had to process that, you know? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Trying to figure it out as well. Well, okay, I know why didn't he play the Master for Battle. Because he was thinking about Wild Pyromancer in turn 4 with the quality for Animal Companion. And why would you then sacrifice your... One ones. No, it, you would just use a quality in that situation. A quality is not a valuable card in this match, so you yep. can just use it to kill off one. Then I don't one know. Misha yeah, or something. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. Oskaga has such an awful hand. Is just. Oh, this is an explosive. Wow. Play this right here. This is so bad. I still think if he would have played the snake trap, he would have squeezed out so much more yeah. damage. Yeah. With yeah, I agree. He I would agree have maximized. Totally. Oh wow. Ooh, that's, that's a good game. draw. That's a good draw. That's game. In my opinion. It's it's pretty huge. You yeah. attack with the Peacekeeper first, then yeah. you just drop the Lotus. Ignite really like expected a lot of face hunters. Like he I plays Healbot in Freeze Mage, he plays it in Paladin. Like yeah. if you play it in Paladin, it really shows that you are prepared like to, to play against mm -hmm. Freeze Mage and, and Face Hunter a lot. Low tip, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If something you, if you something is really smelling good. Mm, smelling good, yeah. Yeah. I have like to go, guys. That, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's Gara. He, he smells awesome. Do you no. use strawberry shampoo? Yeah. Oh, man. I just want to chew on your hair. <laughs> oh, God. That is so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, like, if you don't... If you 
uh, keep the heal for as late as possible. You you like bait your opponent into yeah, doing yeah, like yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. very greedy. yolo yolo plays. Yeah, yolo yeah he plays. shouldn't. Like the only way I would do that is if I knew this guy was playing freezing traps. I might consider doing that. Yeah, because I love getting that thing freezing trapped. But Lothab I think is just better in like every way. Ready to ride. Yeah, there's, there was like no reason to actually heal yourself up that turn. Yeah. And a 5-5 five five is just a strong body. Yeah, if they overcommit and you use the heal bot, then it's like, it's a victory and it's it like morally like hurts. Agree. Yeah. So what's Sorry, now? though, this has been a very stressful series for these two, especially Ignite, so I understand. Like, yeah, he's like, I don't want to die. Yeah. Screw that. He's like, I don't know, he might have lethal <laughs> with two cards in hand and... <laughs> <laughs> when I'm at 16 life and he has 5 mana. <laughs> yeah. I better play that anti keyboard so I won't have a heart attack. Yeah, something like that. Maybe he was playing also ar ar around at least the Hounds with the Master for Battle with not playing it. You know? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah! Well, I, I'm that's fine with him not playing right? the Muster, but it's just... The oh, Lothab would that's, seem good. That's, that's a sad clear. Yeah, is it? It's a huge investment of cards to kill a wolf. You're right, right. he should have used the Muster. <laughs> well, he has two musters, actually. He could have done that. Plays around Unleash, gives him a weapon, keeps his fire alive. <laughs> and you have an answer for the animal companion, Nisha. Hey, I think it's good. Keep, keeps uh, actually, that makes sense, you know? Yeah. And you get you get the weapon. You said that, right? Yeah, you get the weapon. Yeah. Keeps the show alive. It's pretty good. He'd have a 3-1 and a weapon out. Oh, right look. Now. Oh, man. I think that's... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, the, that's you it. can't get around the lay on hands. Like, not with the hand he has. He got this. You got Very this. Very interesting choice, by the way, that Oskaka has decided to use the original Hearthstone card back. Oh. I didn't expect that in this tournament. I really like those original card backs. Maybe, maybe he doesn't have another card back. Maybe he's only playing on the name. Like, like... I think it's impossible to like, have all the cards and not have two card backs. I have needed, like, earlier or yesterday, like, in a U account, and then Oskaka is like, Hey, sh sure, use mine. And then when he wanted to build the decks, he realized... Half of the cards are missing. <laughs> <laughs> so he maybe does not. I'm actually very surprised at how many people don't have all the cards. Yeah. People just like mm. disenchant cards they don't like. Because they want those greedy gold yeah. cards, you know? I was having to play some on Europe and Ecop just didn't have a whole bunch of cards. Spagnerus. Oh, that's a good card. That's a But well now he didn't play it like safe with the Leon Hands. Yeah. Twelve life. Twelve life and I don't like know. with three li with three cards, you can deal t twelve damage. Which three? I I'm trying to figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> three through silver champions. Wait, wait, wait! Now we have the now we have the quick shot into quick shot into. A That's six. Wait, well, wait a, like you we have four more mana, it's right? Not quite. No, we can't. Do if it. you played a, a Tarzan earlier on, you could do it easy. Oh look, a true silver champion. <laughs> Sup. Escape concede. Yeah. Oh, he called an insect. That's BM, right? Mm hmm. Come on, Huffer. <laughs> Does it change anything? No, no, of course it doesn't. I was like, what? <laughs> but it's like 13 damage, right? So it's Ignite four, will take nine, the lead. 10, 11. Yeah, he could do 13 this turn if you hit up. Oh, Ignite takes the lead, and now he has the mage left against Druid and Hunter. So against Druid might be hard, against Hunter it should be okay. Is there any zero cost beast? There's not, is there? No. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get up to that damage. <laughs> Impossible. Oh, 10 is maximum. Yeah. If 8 mana, 10 damage is maximum. Are you counting uh, arcane, uh, arcane shots? No. That's two damage for one. But mana, we have right? three cards, right? So he, he let's let's expand the, the card amount. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, then we have two uh, two arcane shots. Is yeah, two mana for damage. There, yeah, we, but we need like four arcane shots because like w like three mana for damage is like the highest. Hunter versus hunter, and you play Nefarion. All right, you got your four arcane shots. Can yeah. we do it now? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> then it's better to just steal quick shots. Four arcane shots and two yeah. halfers. No, no, that's still. Uh, no, no, I can shoot into quick shot, like from the variant, two spells, quick shot, and arcane shot. So arcane shot first, 
then you quick shot, and then you draw into a quick but shot. But arcane shots are like more damage per mana. Yeah, so it's two mana for damage. Yeah. Two mana for damage. But then the you highest. draw something. No, we have unlimited cards in our hands. Oh, okay. Makes sense. <laughs> this is a very important discussion we're having right now. <laughs> All right, so Ignite is actually... Leading now. ...in the lead. Is that not crazy? He is down to just his Freeze Mage, or whatever mage it is, actually. We don't actually know that it's Freeze Mage. He yeah, might, it should be. If he's be. playing Mech Mage, I mean... It, sh it should be the Freeze Mage, because he was playing it really well in the group stage. Mm. I but think you, you use Hunter here, I think. Why would you use Hunter? Because you think it's Freeze Mage, so you use your Hunter to gain as much info as you can, can about it, and then you use your better matchup, right? Nah... I don't think so. Thing is, is it if it's fifty fifty, if this is fifty fifty between freeze fine. and the threat is fine. mech, I would go you with can just use either deck. It doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah. if you're leaning towards freeze, I think you use hunter first. Yeah, if you have a yeah, if you play against mech, mech you mulligan completely different with druid. Like you keep the yeah. keepers, the innovate keeper for sure. Oh yeah, okay, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, the, yeah, you're the right. hunter and ref, you would also keep ref probably. If you know if you know that you're against mech, mech yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you would keep ref right. Yeah, okay, makes sense. That, but that in all sense. other matchups, you wouldn't. Against Rogue, you can keep it. Keep Wrath? Yeah. For those Farseers or Agents. Yeah, but but what I heard, it's usually still better to go for the White Groves and Innovates. What if you have both? Then you you win. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Easy. Good to know. Are they starting? No. Oh, it looks like I think Ignite just went to the bathroom real quick. So should get about one or quick. two? Hmm? We can talk about the food. Smells good. Yeah, it smells good. I want to end this match and just go eat. I see a banana over there, which is what I want, but that banana is like really green. So. Yeah, it's like really fresh. Yeah, it's. Can you eat it on the, uh, like in front of the camera with eye contact? <laughs> no. No, I can't do that. <laughs> but like a, green, a banana that, that, that's that green, like first off, opening it's very hard. And then like itself, it's like a much harder fruit. It doesn't taste quite as good. <laughs> So I don't want that enough. banana, but I'm gonna look around for like a more yellow banana. Mm -hmm. I saw. Waffles I can use a paint. Distracted. They have waffles. O P O P. Can, can <laughs> they bring them some waffles? No. Mm. We're stuck here. But it's crazy how well ignites like Ricard from 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 the sick losses. Yeah, it, the fact that he's gone three zero from here is pretty sick. Yeah, like, that's insane. Like he's <laughs> like. It really shows like how well he perfor uh, performed in the group stages and before that. Like he's a really, really top level player. Seriously, uh, I'm super impressed from it too because he's had some very underwhelming yeah. events in the past. Like the dream hacks that I've been to for Hearthstone, yeah. he underperformed. Uh, ISF in Azerbaijan, he yeah. really underperformed. Like dropped yeah. out super early, and there yeah. was RDU was like the only real top end pro in that tournament. So it was like, you know, I was starting to lose a little bit of faith in Ignite. Yeah. But uh, here he is and playing like really well yeah he's also being known for being like a troll and like talking bad about people and stuff but this tournament he's like focused he's like very nice to everyone so you're saying he's toxic no not anymore not like he really changed like he's a really nice guy you can really he also started like casting like in Helsinki at, the, yeah. at that event he's like he changed he's a different yeah. guy okay we got all right it's gonna be hunter mage we got freeze, uh, freeze mage. Yeah. So, what do you keep as a hunter here? You keep the one drop. Uh, uh, Not when you go second. Uh, exactly right. Hmm. Well, knife checker lives. Oh wow, that's damage. a really oh. crappy hand. Whoa. Well, okay, that's it's something. Like, ew. He's like ew. Ew. <laughs> ew. Oh, but that's also a crappy draw. I think that snake trap's ever gonna go off. <laughs> you f you think we'll you go with the. Uh, yeah, juggler. Why would you keep the abuse of surgeon? I don't get it. I don't know. I really don't get it. Maybe those people are not playing face hunter enough. Yeah. Right? I think so too. But maybe he's expecting ma uh, make mage, and then he wants to trade. Oh, okay. Like draw into it. It could be. It could yeah. be. Against. What do you want to trade then? I, I don't know. I Something mean, he would draw. He yeah. is with with uh, knife mm. juggler. He's a lightning bolt, right? <laughs> yeah. Moonfire, yeah. man. Moonfire. Moonfire. That's zero for one. This is one for three. He he needs to play the Talos because he needs better a better hand. Yeah. He has yeah. to. But the problem is, 
like what he's like thinking right now. If he plays a minion and he gets the snipe, that knife juggle will survive for like at least two more turns. Or eight. That would suck. That would yeah. really suck. And now you can play uh, the snake trap. Because you just saw the information. Ooh, oh, There's but, no frost bolts. No, I would totally owl that. Like... Oh, yeah, you know what? What about Doom Surge? Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait. There might be times where his stuff gets frozen that he wants to owl that. You don't yeah, want to save yeah, the Yeah, I know, I know, but... It's no, no, that, that's the worst. That's the worst <laughs> option of the three. That's so horrible. Yeah, but, like, he loses the hero power damage, which he would get. Yeah. I don't get it at all. No, I don't Why like would you do play. that? Owl is better and Snake Drop is better. Usually, if your opponent plays Talnos, it shows that he wants to cycle it. Usually, yeah. you yeah. save Talnos for combinations yeah. for like Frost Bolts or like any sort of combination. Now right? you, and the Snake Trap now is the most dead card in this matchup for the yeah, whole game. You're never going to use it. You're yeah. never going to get it. It was the same against the Paladin, where he had the one turn where Snake Trap was perfect, right? And he didn't play it. And now this was the one turn in this matchup yeah. where Snake Trap would yeah. be perfect. Yeah. So That's so bad. Well, he can still win, but that would uh, give him like additional five points of damage. Oh man, that that that's over, Yeah, that's a sick draw. That's like the best possible draw he could have had. Yeah. Have yeah. In this. It's five damage. <laughs> There's five an damage ice block, now. which is important, but still. Yeah, yeah, that heal bot will be very crucial. Now you drop the heal bot. Right? No, 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 no. You just no. ping it down. You, yeah, you yeah, save yeah, right, freeze. right, right. That that's, that would be horrible. Yeah. Kill bot and then you try to survive till Alex Strasser. Dog is oh, also. Oh, that hand is awful. It's got <laughs> awful. It's <laughs> awful. He, he, that's yeah. You can't actually get worse than so that. So great. You can't do anything. Yeah. Like you, you play snake traps or explosive trap, which will never proc this game. Which is most li explosive trap is the more likely one to proc. So I would play that. Even that one will never proc. Yeah, and it's more li the most likely one. Yeah, true. No, That's seriously. True. Like as soon as the secret's out, you literally will just never attack with any. <laughs> Still waiting for the flare dream, man. Still uh, waiting. Oh, snipe, man, snipe. But you, uh, God. You watch the Kezon Mystic come out and take that that explosive trap. Oh my God. But the, the thing about Freeze Mage is, if you let him one turn. Like, where you don't pressure him. No, oh, that's great. Free Smitch has such a huge advantage. No, okay. You play the snake trap here. Hunter lost. Totally. Hunter just lost. That's my opinion. Ugh. The Hunter lost previous turn. He lost when he didn't play the snake trap on turn two. Or Owl. It definitely would have been better play. All right. Um, let's play some cards. I guess. Unless there will be a flare or Kazan Mystic. Oh man, he can't Skaka even play that lost. one. It's like awful. You give your opponent like an <laughs> Alex Strasser. It's the kill command phase. No. You need the owl, sort of. Uh, the, the, the sound of those doggies' attack is like, wow, that's so massive. It's one mm -hmm. point of damage. Blizzard is swag. He doesn't want oh. to yeah, give the additional points of damage. Yeah, and that, that's solid, I would say. But now he can proc. That sucks. Because the doggy li is alive, he can proc the block. Well, he can ping it yeah. and just yeah, play but because Yeah, like I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I exactly know what you want to say <laughs> because the trade didn't make any sense. You know, this is a, a uh, yeah. commentary for people at home, so they might not know what Hero <laughs> wants to say. It's like Blizzard would be better, right? If you don't go for the Antonidas. Yeah. That's really weird. That, yeah, yeah. The thing is that he changed now His both mind. plays. Yeah. Yeah. And then he realized he can proc the block if I don't kill the dog. That's yeah. why he didn't play the Antonidas. And then he's like, oh, damn, why didn't play? I played the Blizzard in the first place. Can he proc the block now? Uh, no. Four, seven. Five? No, he's one one short. Yeah. Ouch. That sucks. Now we just lost. How many times did he lose? So many times. <laughs> if you if he could have broke the block now, maybe he could have won. He would have just Alex Rasa next turn to heal himself up, and he's out of damage completely. No, that snake trap. Mm. 
Oh, that's freaking risky. Yeah, it is. That's true. I'm very surprised he did that. So now you proc the block. Yeah, if you proc the block and your opponent doesn't have lethal, you would. But he he does have lethal. Though. He has lethal. <laughs> what about? He might actually just kill this. But what if he had like a hunter's mark? Like you have to be hundred percent sure yeah. your opponent doesn't play a hunter's mark. Because if he well, has he's seen mark, Osaka's hunter. This is his fourth time seeing it. Yeah. So I think he's pretty darn sure of it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a losing play. Oh. Wait a minute, he doesn't have life gain. He can't attack with Alex Straza. Oh, yeah, right. Because of the explosive oh. trap. Oh, yeah. Holy oh, wait, did crap. He just, Shit. Did he just. He, he, he just lost. lost. He oh, just, wow. Yeah. That was so unnecessary. Hunter just won. Yeah. <laughs> that that Alex Straza, look at Ignite, he's shaking his head, man. He just realized. Oh, man. He just. Re like, that Alex Straza was just like. That was so unnecessary. That was like he was bored of playing or something. The pressure just hit. Like the second time, it's like a big hammer which is going to ignite face, and it's like BAM! That's the pressure. Oh my bam. god. Ignite had this so hard. Yeah, like, there was. If he ends up winning this, we have some real questions about some of his plays here, man. Yeah. Both players really throw the game. Yeah. Like, both. Well, but the Hunter especially won. Ignite. But Hunter. <laughs> Obviously, if you don't know the hands, right? Like we know the hands, but they don't know yeah. each other's yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's still that that oh turn two from the hunter didn't make any sense at all, because you go you go for a fifty fifty. Yeah. But you have more safe yeah, plays and efficient more plays. Play, and the snake trap, as we can see, is a dead card anyway. The explosive trap is not a dead card wow. anymore. It's just that game was like in the back, like yeah. Pew, free, free. That was. That was pretty sad, wow. I would say. All right. Down to match point. It's going to be Druid against Freeze Mage. Yeah. Oh, man. If Ignite loses this, he, he is going to be oh like the unhappiest human ever with himself. Two games, man. The yeah. Priest game. Two now complete this? throws. Like yeah. Complete Com throws. Yeah. Complete throws. Like hundred percent win scenarios, hundred. Yeah. And then you come back. You have a sick comeback even mm. after the first throw, and then you throw again. Yeah. And now you have a mage versus droid, which is not like an easy matchup. And I want to waffle. <laughs> I know you do. The I wonder like if there's the a Kazan in this druid deck. We've seen a few druid decks with Kazan yeah. this weekend. Yeah. So. That's true. That could. I think life I actually saw from Oskaka even. I know Life Code was playing one. Yeah, yeah, but that's I'm not right. sure about Utskaka. Yeah, he had actually quite a few Kazans. Oh man, if you take that. What I want to say, uh, maybe it's a bit harsh, but none of those players What is players it called? Wailing are, Spirit? Uh, what if deserve the win. <laughs> huh? I, I mean, none of those those players deserve the win <laughs> in this series. <laughs> like, throw after throw after Lothar. throw. Lothar. Maximum salt. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, oh, that's so awesome. Thank oh, you. I'm so happy. We just got waffles. Thanks. I, I'm good. Thank you, though. Lothar can have one. Thanks. Well, Thanks, well, bud. No, which I'm one good. do you want? I don't want it. Really? Yeah. I'm good. Thanks. Um, that was so sweet. Hmm. Well, you heard, uh, you heard Mulligan for Wild Groves, right? Do you? Uh, uh. Yes, of course. You mulligan all that crap away. But yeah, the, the, the mage has a good hand. Yeah, I would actually just straight keep that. It seems good. Just You just got plenty of stuff to saw him out. You can mulligan away Frost Bolt and Frost Nova. That smells really good, Lothar. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's the shampoo, man. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like waffle. Waffle shampoo. Oh, man. That would be it. so good. You got bacon deodorant on. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want a bite? Nah, I'm good. There's like a full waffle here. Full waffle? Full waffle. I'm gonna Those look pretty good. All yeah, right, I'll try it. some. A waffle can be full? Yeah, a whole waffle? Full waffle? Yeah. Or if it eats a lot, it would be full too. All right. Hey, he has wild growth. He has emperor. Mm. He, did, oh, did he keep the first world nova? Or was it like after the mulligan? I think he kept it. Which is weird. Why would you keep frost bolt against druid? Yeah, he kept it. He kept his whole storing hand. And I mean it's not it's not a bad card actually. Like Frostbolt 
you can look at as like five damage because you just ping with it. So like you could take out a Yeti or something like that, you know? Or just kill the Shredder, which is the most yeah, common for yeah. you. I mean, it. I love Frostbolt. Hmm. I must safeguard. From my experience, silencing a mad scientist is usually wrong because you need it for the Doomsayer. Mm. What about if that's a mech mage and you still don't know it? Well, he played it last time. Except... <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I think you're pretty sure that that wasn't a mech mage. Except you didn't play it's against got a him. a few weird cards in it. One game ago. Yeah. <laughs> what if what if just the cards he played, those are like the weird additions to his mech mage? All right. If the, that would be cool. If he would be a mech mage, I would call the admin right now. <laughs> If there was a mech warper out, you'd call it? <laughs> yeah, like, no way this guy plays mech warper in his freeze mage. Yeah. Failfish. Well, if he plays an antique heal bot, man, that can be a great combo. Yeah. That's like a, you know, one Four. mana for a 2 3. It's like a zombie chow. Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Let's draw. What you really want is like um, either Doomsayer or card draw cards. He doesn't have any card draw cards again. Except the the acolyte, so he. Re but you don't wanna like you. He's probably gonna just ping the acolyte. Yeah. I wonder. Just I to maximize so. and you just ping the acolyte. How high do you value Thalnos in this matchup? Very high. Yeah. Pretty high, I would say. Yeah, like in this matchup, you save Thalnos usually for the super combo with the frost bolt double ice lens. Mm -hmm. Only if you absolutely need a draw, you will use uh, Thalnos. Uh, hmm. um, I can intellect is a very good draw. He really needs card draw. Okay. Yeah, that's very, very good nice. as well. Yeah. He get, maximizes the draw. That's very true. Like, oh, I he can actually make him overdraw now. Oh, Three, yeah. Six, what if he makes him overdraw and, like, there goes Alex Straza or something? How can, how, how he, can he? He can't. He can't. He, can't. He, can't. He's, he has eight. He has eight cards. Oh, okay. Eight cards. He can't. You got can't me. Count. You got me fooled. Yeah. Well played. When, when there's nine or ten cards, it's really close to the back. Uh, back Actually, stage. the way I look at it is if there's ten cards, the mana crystal is below the game board. Oh, really? On the very left. I, I'm just and it's up so close to below that I thought, I was like, oh, that must be yeah. nine. I think, as I m mentioned earlier, I think that the keeper on the Mad Scientist was a huge misplay. Hmm. Because, like, the Doomsayer Frost yeah. Nova is almost guaranteed a clear. The chances that he has the second keeper is very low. Well, you have the Force of Nature. And hero power for seven points of damage. That is awful. Yeah, I know. But and if he, ha if he, he has four min if he has like five minions on board, he, he can't even do it I because he yeah, doesn't have the room. Like How he can he have five minions on board? You just freeze for a couple of turns. See? Notice how it's below? That's ten cards. So, what do you do here? That's too weak for rooms here because he gets another Emperor turn. What to do? Oh, but you, you, you have no other place, so you have to do it. Yeah. What's your next turn play? Turn six. Draw cards like. Okay. Do you see this? Double Ice force Book? of nature at four mana. Oh yeah, that's scary. He no, 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 no. He has to use the force of nature now to clear. Yeah, force of nature, hero power. Then you oh, okay, protect your guy. Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. Now you have a Harrison Jones for four. Wow. <laughs> You sound way too excited for that one. That was funny. That is really exciting, isn't it? But the Sylvanas is such such an awful card. Well, that was one Doom Slayer off, so... Yeah, that sucks. The Emperor survives for another turn. You're very sad about that. You draw oh, another scary. secret. You're very sad about that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you have... Um, now he's like, I hate my The Mad Scientist still have some value. Still has some a value, right? Bit. A little tiny bit. Now we draw the second ice barrier. He needs. Wouldn't that be funny? He needs more doomsayers. He's like, I didn't what get did another doomsayer. I, I got another two crappy cards. So ice barrier or ice block now? That's the only choice. If you play molten giants, you play ice block. All okay. Right. So what's the draw? Balto Shredder, That's nice. He will get a free force of nature what? at some point. Oh, man. <laughs> he can really... What do you think about dropping... Savannah's and Shredder? I think that's a good play. Yeah. Well... 
<laughs> no, you just you just dropped the Sylvanas, I think. Uh, you did so one. I know their five health minion would be nice. Y you did so the. Um, I don't like that at all. Uh, at you did because so it dies one to flame strike. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, because he's coming up on turn seven with this many cards in hand. Yeah. He has flame strike. Why would you play well, the he Heisen does Jones? But he should, right? Oh, should. look, there's one. Oh yeah, there it is. I didn't like the Heisen Got Jones it. at all. At all. Yeah, that was. Yeah. It was not the right play. That's why I said. Sylvanas plus Reda. I yeah, liked it. And he already saw a Doomsayer, so it's not like he's going to fireball it to steal a Doomsayer. So. Hell yeah. Definitely. Jones. I don't get it. Sylvanas would be also for free at some point. Zero mana Sylvanas. But you want to drop the Sylvanas right. right after you didn't see the second Doomsayer. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. -ish. It's it. <laughs> Shredder said one. Yeah. <laughs> one mana Shredder. Now that's good. That's it's a good like, card. It's like a one drop at some point. Just. Just, just play it. Huh. You know, you it one it trades left. really well against other one drops when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. Not even Argent Squire can keep up with that. Even what pops out trades with another yeah. one. <laughs> what about the Wisp with Cold Blood? <laughs> well, Wisp with Cold Blood kills it, man. That's one mana as well, so you got to watch out for that. The problem with the Flame Strike is you still leave like at least five points of damage to the face. <laughs> Wisp with Cold Blood screenshot was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure you're greedy. A little bit more greedy to flame strike. So you froze Nova? Yeah. Froze Nova, you pink Emperor. Yeah, you have to pink the Emperor. Yeah. Because it survives anyways, right? And the other craps dies anyways to the flame strike. So now you, ha now you know there's a flame strike. Yeah. And now you know, oh god, that hurts. Or or he's like hoping for a flame strike top dig. And now you have a dead turn. What to do? Oh, imagine you have a keeper. Hmm? Why, what does that <laughs> What does the, that change? Now Just imagine, Lothar, if you would for a moment. Try to put yourself <laughs> in his shoes, but you have a keeper. <laughs> you know what you could do here? Because you know a flame strike is coming? You could silence <laughs> your Harrison Jones. Shredder. No, the pilot shredder. Did your phone get so clear? Oh, God. That's you could silence the Emperor Tarzan and run so into the 2-2. Nice. But it would be so nice to your opponent if you silence the pilot shredder. He's just gonna hear a power yeah. face, right? Yep. Yeah. And get the zero mana shredder. Next. That's game. pretty That's good. That's so nice. He's gonna play. Why the would you play the shredder now? You can't play it before zero mana. It, I mean, it trades with all zero drops, guaranteed, right? Wisp has nothing on it. What? Well, <laughs> Look know, at that. You know what? Uh, what, what Ignat can do now? He can play the coin, go mad scientist into pilot shredder, ping it, and play the. Flame or strike. he can just do this and see what he gets. V Vitality totem, that's cool. Yeah, that's actually an annoying as hell. But oh, he now. drew his ice barrier. Oh, awful. Oh, <laughs> so gross. He will still win. God, this is like a warrior with four weapons in his hand. He will still win. The two mana force of nature might still be like super scary. Yeah. If well, he draws double seven. He roll, can actually maybe. go like savage, savage, force, and, and druid, right, of the claw. Yeah. What? Not if he has an inner two inner okay. Why would you go face with that? <laughs> Can someone explain me? Yeah, you you, you attack the totem, right? Mm, I wonder. Because he gets the heal anyways next turn from the totem. Oh, maybe yeah. to punch down the armor. He had armor, right? Yeah, but he, he had, but you have no extra. Okay, punching armor is okay. So you want to play Antonai this next turn? Do you? What about if if Oskaka just had the combo? How many points of damage is that? Fourteen. Oh, 16? he's kind of he's. But no, that doesn't yeah. make sense because he gets the heal. Yeah, attacking face. Attacking the healing totem would have actually been good. Or even because killing there's the, a good chance the... a blizzard will come out at some point and then clean it. No. But even like he's gonna pro, uh, pr push for damage now because he's the Antonidas coin plus Nova. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. But he can enter Nidus coin plus Ice Barrier or something. He gets like a lot of burst damage. He has the Talos. But the totem heals the damage. That's that's the main point. Yeah. Why taking now doesn't really matter. Yeah. Hmm. Skaka really trying hard here. Yeah, he's just going for the deeps. No time for games. Alright. So if Let's get if, that blizzard. But yeah, if he has one blizzard now. Screws up everything. 
Ich habe ein bisschen. Ah, that's also good. Ich. It's not that good. <laughs> so you play yeah, Ice Barrier, <laughs> Ice Block. Could be better. <laughs> There's better cards. <laughs> yes, but Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Didn't you watch South Park? Yeah, of course. Zara's looking like me at me like he did he didn't know the quote. I, I know, but I'm thinking about what's the worst possible I mean the best possible <laughs> play this Forgive my friend Butters over here. <laughs> That's prof Professor Chaos, man. <laughs> he has the tin foil head. Every play kinda sucks. You can't play Antonidas. You have to first kill to Sylvanas. <laughs> You're probably gonna play your amazing heal bot. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I said, it's so good. Now you have a drop. No, uh, wow. Really? So you want to freeze it? Yeah, he's gonna ice it. Yeah. Like a boss. Okay. What else is he gonna do? Just coin? And then throw like a, a gazillion. I don't like that turn. And then he's gonna throw a gazillion fireballs at his opponent next turn. What if you... Why wouldn't you take out the healing tot? What if you just... He's at full life, doesn't matter. Swipe the Sylvanas. <laughs> because it doesn't work. <laughs> so, wait, wait, Atros is here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, Aww. I wanted to... He had a chance. I, I wanted to proc his mind process. He like, <laughs> had a chance. He was close. He's never doing it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, he's dead. What? Is he's that lethal? Yeah. Hell, yeah. I, w I wasn't watching what happened. Um, Oskaka, Oskaka won uh, the game and he's in the semifinals. Oh yeah, yes. that's what happened. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Wow. Oh, that has to be sold as... Well. That has to be really painful for Ignite here. Throat. Throat. I wow. said the Healbot is a good draw, man. Heal, I heal, said it. Healbot Icebear was the only play, man. The only play. I that said was it. really rough. That, that was, was really, really rough. I said it, man. The heal bot is a great draw. Well, that was rough. That was devastating. Yeah. That was a squeeze. So we can all right. get Oskaka here. Finally, we get to talk to Oskaka. He has not been on the mainstream at all yet. Oh, he won. Yeah. Well, he's been winning all weekend. Oskaka. Get over here, everyone. Get over here. Everyone get in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I misquote. It doesn't look... Yes, he looks more happy now. Do you have the yeah? And now it's w it's working now. Yes, yes okay. exactly. Welcome, uh, congrats. Thank you, Oskaka. Let's talk about some of the uh, plays from Ignite that series. How about that that priest circle. game? That circle. I think that was like the only way he could play that to lose that game. Oh, it absolutely <laughs> yeah. was the only yeah. way. Also, like the the freeze mage versus your hunter. That, that was, was like the only way he could have thrown the game. If if he Alex trusts you. Mm -hmm. And just dies. I, th I thought for sure that he would have lethal if he did that, like the double yeah. fireball frost or something. Well, he had the lethal, but you, you put him up too. Yeah, yeah. That was the, the problem, the right? Yeah. yeah. If he would just play anything else, he would have won the game. He needed yeah. Alex Straza for the lethal. Yeah. It was like, those were for him, I think, pretty painful games. But uh, what's even funnier that that in the priest game, uh, pressing the end turn button was winning the game. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was the only way he would... Yeah. Well, he we actually didn't saw it anyway. Uh, 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 also, like, we would done it all the same. With, with I've the actually played against a few priests on ladder who do the same mistake, like, with the <laughs> <laughs> circle. Yeah. They think it's lethal, and then, you know, the spell, sorry, the spell power affects the circle, of course. Uh, I want to talk about your hunter deck for a moment, because it almost tanked the entire series for you. Yeah, like, he three owed it, and then he actually had you completely dead if he didn't Alex draws you in that last game. So, what what's was, like, this a... A mistake to bring the hunter? Did it just not go your way? What do you think? I think I've like played a lot of open tournaments and like qualifiers, and the hunter deck does really well there. But I think versus more experienced players, I think maybe the deck isn't as good because it does I have, have like a lot of low quality cards like Wolf Rider. It's not like an actual good card, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask. You take that back. <laughs> Why didn't you play the owl or the snake drop? Uh, what was the what was the game? Oh, uh, that was uh, the one against. Uh, was it against... No, 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 that was, I think, against the mage. Yeah, that was against the mage. Oh, when yeah, when Ignite he played dropped the, the Thanos on turn two, you had your knife juggler up. 
right? Mm -hmm. So you know that he didn't have the frostbolt because he would have frostbolted anyway, yeah. right? And then you your two options were to either drop the snake trap to because you know he will be trading into your knife dragger and ping in it, right? Well, he, he wouldn't trade if I put the trap up, but yeah. Yeah, but then you save your knife juggler up because he doesn't have the frostbolt. And you have your, you have your juggler up too, and there's no chance at all that the snake trap will be triggered uh, against a freeze mage in the g whole game. So that was the only possibility of triggering that. And your play was to play the owl f to silence the Falnos. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. I think the owl was not an option because of uh, Doomsayer. Uh, like yeah. he, I, that's the reason I kept in the starting as for Doomsayer and maybe Mad Scientist yeah, if yeah. it gets to that point. Uh, so I don't think the owl was an option, but you might be right that Snake Trap was better than the Abusive. But I got a little bit unlucky as well. I didn't hit well, the knife. Well, you got for the 50 50, and yeah. the, the Snake Trap was basically saying you have to top deck the Frostbolt or you can't move the, uh, can the Nidra Gold at all. Yeah. He might have like coined an Acolyte and then I had to trade and then he can ping it or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, you might be right about that. Well, congrats on the way. You just yeah. you just got to the semifinals of Seed Story Cup three. That's pretty and you sick. will be playing against Orange, the winner no. of six. No, no, no. Yeah. Orange is playing against Maverick. Let me see. Actually, so do we know who won that match yet? I don't know. That was like the, one of the longest. That's um, Orange one. Met well, no, yeah, no, Orange the, won the, the first other one. one. It's Orange versus Maverick in the top, and then Alex versus Six. So, do we know that? Um, no, I don't. Score. They're, they're playing. I think they're playing on the... Oh, on the actually, oh. we're going to put them yeah. on the mainstream. Okay, That's cool. Um, okay, so we'll be, you will be waiting for your opponent. You can scout at the decks. Yeah. That's it. Um, okay, you guys have any more questions for us, Kaka? I don't think so. Now you have to Are you excited mentally. to be in the semifinal? Excited. Are you excited to win the tournament? Of course. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, guys, we're going to jump to a quick commercial here, and when we come back, we'll have Sixa versus Lesh.